Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be testing out magnetic fake eyelashes. I first saw these in a video on my Facebook feed a couple of weeks ago, maybe more like a month-ish ago. I knew instantly that I needed to try these. I am someone who has a lot of issues putting on fake lashes. Sometimes the glue like ends up in little mountains, so like the lash isn't laying straight across. Sometimes I glue my eyes shut. I've glued my eyes shut before. So the idea of magnetic fake lashes with no glue seems like an amazing deal to me. So I'm gonna try these out right now, see if I can't get the hang of them. And then I'm gonna try them tomorrow in my routine and see if I can't get these things on faster than I can get fake lashes on with glue because I am extremely slow with glue. Let's take a gander at these, shall we? Um, they're from a company called One Two Lash. These were kind of expensive. They were $69 for the one case with two pairs in them, but they are reusable, so they're not like the one or couple time use like other fake lashes are. Okay, let's open this box and see what's inside. Ooh. Okay, so inside I've got what vaguely resembles like a Chanel makeup case, a cleaning cloth, or a um, just a fun handkerchief, I don't know. And then inside, kind of looking like the insect display at a museum, the lashes. Here we go, product description. The lashes include magnetic materials which may damage magnetic storage media, including on bank and credit cards, computer, hard drives, TV screens, or monitors. Damn, these things can take down a TV screen. If you experience any redness, pain, or inflammation while or after wearing the lashes, seek medical attention immediately. So these seem like a little more dangerous than I thought. Directions for use. One, hold top one, two lash, the one without the red dot over your eye. Two, position lash on top of your natural lashes so the outside edge lines up with the edge of your natural lash line. Wait, do I just have to hold it there? Three, leave the top lash where it is and then just let it chill there for a second and pick up the bottom lash, the one with the red dot. Four, without blinking, place the bottom lash under your natural lashes so it meets and connects with the top lash magnet. <gasps> That can't be right. I think I actually put it like way too far out on my eye. So they are magnetized, but they're not on my lash line. They're like halfway across my lashes. All right, let's try this again. Take your index finger and thumb and gently slide the two magnets away from each other. Oh, that wasn't so bad. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this top lash where it should be. Open the eye and go in. Ow, why does this look wrong? Like I look like a Muppet. I gotta try this a third time because this is this is just not working out for me. Mom spaghetti stuff. Oh, maybe it's supposed to look like that. What if I just try and move it closer in? I will say they're very easy to take off. Take five, right here, right now. Going in at the bottom. Ow, just poked my eye. No, damn it. Is it supposed to look like that? Honestly, I will stay here no matter how long it takes until these things work. I am going to try my right eye and then just come back to this one. Is that right? No, same issue. Yeah, they're not on the lid. Am I the problem here? All right, so I'm using a tweezer. I'm gonna double fist it with two tweezers. It's kind of like a game of operation right now. Just approaching my eye with two pairs of tweezers. This is fine. Oh! I say that as I drop it. All right, I'm, I place that one down like that. Going in with the tweezers like this. Ow! With the tweezer? No, I think it was the lash. What do you think? When you look down at them, they are not flush. Okay, Ty. You take the hot seat. I'm gonna try and put these on you, okay? Let's do it. All right, here's your left eye. All right. Right, that goes like this. All right, right eye. I look like the guy from Clockwork Orange. All right, look up. Oh, did I clip your eye eyelid? A little bit. All right, let me see, look down. I think that's our best one yet by a lot. I own one looks pretty good, actually. All right, Ty, thank you for being my guinea pig. It was actually quite helpful to see it from the bird's eye view. I, if I had to say what my problem is, is that I'm having a hard time not blinking. Damn it. Oh no, it's gone. It's gone. Are you serious? Yeah, it's gone. Okay, I found it. It's uh... It's on the mirror. I'm just trying to avoid blinking at all costs. Damn it, I just blinked, damn it! All right, I'm gonna go back to the left eye. I just, I cannot. I am undone. Hey! Wait, wait. Did I do it? Is this, is that right? I don't know if this is right, but it feels like the closest I've been so far on the left eye. The funny thing is they don't look any different. Oh, they do look kind of different. Can you tell? It's not perfectly flush, but it's better. So after trying about 12 times on each eye, that's a modest estimate, I finally got the one, two cosmetics lashes to work decently well. That was pretty 
darn difficult, I'm gonna be honest. If you're someone who's really good at doing fake lashes, you're probably gonna be good at this thing. If you're someone who's good at doing your contacts, you might be good at doing this thing. So maybe I was just set up to struggle, but I think I got to some point of goodness. So now that I've gotten it like semi-successfully on both eyes, can I do it faster tomorrow? Am I picking up the skill or is it just a crapshoot every time? So I'm gonna try and do this again tomorrow and see if I can wear it all day and uh, we'll see how these lashes fare. All right, so it's the next day and I'm gonna try and uh, use my fake lashes today in my makeup routine. I did find this card that they sent in the package that I clearly didn't see. It says, dear lash lover, please take a moment to check out the instructions on the back of this card before you try on your lashes. Womp. They do have some pictures, but it was pretty much exactly what I was doing. I think that you just need some practice. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then when I'm ready for lashes, I'll check back in, see what happens. All right, so my makeup is done and I'm ready for the fake lashes. There's my little bed of insects. So I'm gonna um, do my right eye first. Oh, that that that's not right. Nope, too far out. Yeah, look, you can see how far out that was. Let's try that again. Did that clamp at all? What? Did that work? Hey, those are pretty close in. What just happened? It almost feels like the magnet is holding a little bit of my eyelid. Like it feels like it's holding my eyes open a little bit. And I feel like that's, that's when I know it's at least close to being right. Going in for the left eye next. Ooh, that looks wrong. I'm kind of standing with my legs wide apart just to give myself like a good sturdy base. I don't think they're even. No, that's wrong. I can feel it. That's not right. Oh crap. All right, checking in. I've been filming for 14 minutes and 28, 29 seconds. Oh my God, I just pulled out a real lash. Can you see that? Does that work? I think I might've gotten it. It's taken me 17 minutes and 22 seconds. They're not perfectly even, but I think that they're pretty good. I think that I'm improving in that I don't think I could be worse than yesterday. Tyler has informed me he thinks the left one looks a little wonky. So I will try and uh, fix it, not in the car, because if I lose it in the car, God help me. But um, at some point later, because I just want to leave it on for a little while, just in case I can't get it this good again. Remember, Sophia, keep it away from your camera. It might be a high-powered magnet that might destroy it. It's been about an hour and a half, two hours, and I might be crazy, but I feel like this lash is moving. Maybe it's not. I don't mean like like moving actively, but it feels like it might be my it's falling off. Right, it's like migrating slowly down. This is the one I'm gonna have to fix, so I'm gonna go into a bathroom and try and fix that soon. All right, sorry if this is a weird angle, you guys. You might get a lot of double chin, but um, trying to show you guys this angle of the lashes. Put you somewhere where you can see. Nope. <gasps> guys, this is, this is hard to do on the go. All right, can I do it? It actually only took me like about five minutes to do that. So maybe I'm getting quicker. Maybe I got some luck. I'm actually not sure if I, match them or if I just made this one worse because I feel like I closed my eye really hard and it felt like that one moved a little bit. But I do think it looks more even. So regardless, I'm just gonna go with it. We are gonna go to like a Staples and see if we can find a magnet and see if we can lift these things off of my eyes with a magnet, which is probably not something you should do. So um, I'll try and like wear them a bit longer before we do that, but we are going to Staples or some office store. So we're like hour four and a half, five. Um, how do my lashes look, first of all? They look pretty good. They're not separating. Like one is not falling off from the other. It's more like I feel like they might migrate down the lash. I didn't, you know, didn't touch it, didn't do anything. But we're here looking for magnets to see uh, what we can do with these lashes. If they'll just like fly towards them, that would be cool. So I'm thinking that these magnets might work. I think we're like appropriately mixing science into this right now. Science! Science! So since I've had the lashes on for about eight hours, I think it's time to take them off. All right, here, so we've got two magnets. I'm nervous, is this a bad idea? No, it's gonna be fun, right? Well, we'll find out. Oh! Is it working? Is anything happening? Oh my God. I feel like they're... Oh, oh my God. Is this, is this stuck? Oh. <laughs> Did it rip my eyelashes out? I don't know, that's a good question. I guess we didn't think about that. I mean, I it feels so. fine. You wanna do the next one? Yeah. <laughs> Krusty is amazed by them. He oh, wants to eat this. Oh, he no wants question. to eat that thing so bad. Tyler thought that looked so fun. He wants a chance. Try going from underneath. Oh! <laughs> Did it get both? Yeah, I got both, right? Woo! 
Yep. All right, so thoughts on my magnetic lashes. I really like that you don't have to mess around with glue. I like how comfortable they are, and I like how easy they are to take off. They are quite expensive, but they are reusable, so you kind of have that like, if you can make it work for you over a long amount of time, they could be worth it. My biggest concern is just getting it even. Like, I could get one eye nicely, and then the other eye was just kind of like looking like, a wonky giraffe like the whole time. And I don't exactly know what tricks I can do to help myself get them even on both eyes. I think that normal glue on fake lashes do last better throughout the day, but these are so much more comfortable. You kind of got to like weigh your options. And if you're only going out for a few hours, it'll probably be fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed those buttons, make sure to smash that little bell icon to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles. Make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Erica for watching. Thank you for watching Erica and I will see you guys a next time. Isn't that right, Krusty? <laughs>